Alright, just coming back to this part of our uh, taro plantation. If you can see last, the last time we were here that we harvested some taro from here was about a month and a half ago. We're tending to our other plantations. We're just coming back to check because we left some taros here. There was a bit of a spell of uh, sun with no rain. A little bit of time that we have sun for a couple of weeks or maybe more and there was no rain and look all the towers now have pretty much kind of like died they've gone down pretty fast see a lot of these ones we didn't even harvest yet but this is the doing of the sun and i didn't check back but a lot of wild grown towers here but now they have all withered and died because of the sun and just a few days ago we have the rain this was not too bad but the main tower there is pretty much done i'm gonna pull them out the last time when i left this one was growing okay still but look at it so we're gonna pull all or most of these out today see this one here all the hula is withered Taros. This one also, and also I think out of the lot, this is the only decent growing one left. So we might take this one today also, so we we'll get some of the hoolies. And because of that, a lot of the hoolies have gone wasted. So I'm just trying to clean this up, and hopefully some hoolies will grow out of these. See, look at all these. Main tower there, dead. Just the hoolies left. Look at this one here, all dead. Man, this has happened so fast. Dead. You can see there's a lot of tiles that I haven't pulled out of here, but they've all kind of all kind of died down now. It doesn't help because we have also started our harvesting from the other plantation away from here so we're just checking on this one just to see i wasn't expecting them to all die out like this but because of the little spell of our sunshine that we had I mean, two three weeks it's just straight sun no rain and this is what happened what do you think bomb uh, it was like we had a tip for days <laughs> See, look at this. And the weeds have crept up. If we didn't maintain it, a lot of it. I just gotta get Maka to dig them out. I'm not digging. Yeah, so I'll check this one, otherwise the hoolies will die too. See, it's a pretty good sized taro. And most of those ones that are dying will be about that size or maybe just a little smaller. It's a lot of taro. Sometimes we can't help it and just leave it for the soil. It goes back into the soil. You think bumps that are good taro? Think, yeah. There it is. For size reference, this is right beside my head right now. And uh, I'm not sure if it's still all good or maybe it has rocked it a bit. But that's yeah. There's that one. And one taro that size. That's just feed all of us one meal just one taro if you have to go back through our other videos this is the plantation that we have that was burned when Maka uh, did some fires beside the tree there 
and then they're now newly grown i think they were nearly two months old our towels they all got burned in so yeah that is this plantation i was supposed to get some towels just give it up to some people but we've been so busy last month yep that that one pull out all the hoodies so very busy last month with our tents we didn't get around to it and the other plantation we're at is much closer to our house so whenever we need a tower i just went there just grab towels for our meals and because of that this is what happened there's so many towels still i don't know if we'll be able to use them and i'm sure a lot of them's kind of like pop already or rotted and all these hoolies have shrunk too. And over at our other plantation, taros there, they are not really growing well like I was expecting, which in turn has just left us with not many hoolies left like we normally do to plant, not the proper size hoolies anyways. So I went ask around to some of my um, friends for some hoolies for our new plantations coming up or if not, we just have to make do with our little ones and wait for them to grow and produce more hoolies. That's the cycle. But the fastest way, if I, fastest way is just ask around for some hoolies. Otherwise, we can still do okay with the little hoolies that we have. Now that's just the cycle of uh, Tara farming here on Niwe. You just have to keep up. You just got to maintain. If the bulldozer takes forever to come back, um, then you might have a period of so many hoolies but you don't have any space or you don't have any plant, new plantation to plant them on and then they'll just all go to waste or you'll use them for pig feed and then when you have and if the bulldozer finally then comes around to your area but by that time all your hoolies are gone but sometimes that's just the case here or if you're busy with other stuff and you don't keep up with it then the time of your hoolies might have passed so like now uh, i think the last time the bulldozer was around this area was just about a year and a half ago so it took that long before it comes back to our area and when you plant a plantation they normally take about nine months from planting to harvesting and this area sometimes at the uh, certain varieties of towers we have they can last up to about a year if you're lucky yeah, the hard wearing taros. But that's just a little spiel about part of that um, taro life. Growing taros here on Niwe. So, yeah, one of those taros, Mark is just digging it up. And this is like the second one. Yeah, so that's that one there. So this taro variety, this is the hard wearing ones. They can last up to about a year. And they don't rot as easily as some other varieties. They're not bad eating too. I like these ones best when you um, bake them in the gas oven or the electric stove or even the ground oven, the umu. They'll come out better than uh, if you are to boil them in a pot. They tend to be really mushy if you boil them this far right this particular variety. This is the huli for that taro. So in desperate times we're saving all of these and replanting them. So like I mentioned before, there are times where they have heaps of nice strong healthy growing hoolies but then you don't have anywhere to plant them at and then when you have a lot of space for your planting when your bulldozer has cleared your plantation you don't have the good hoolies anymore you just gotta make do with what you got
but look how dead it is. It's another st strong growing variety. See, tiny hoolies. Well, that's all I've got to work with now. Come on, boom. Hmm. Is it okay? Looks okay, but the bottom one. Oh boy. Well, just, a, just a little pop on this area. Don't want to let all of this just go to waste, so that's why we're here harvesting them. And especially because they're still good eating. Hey, Abby. Hi. The rain is spitting a bit. That's why we got Ob to stay in the truck. And now we're just getting him to come out. but not bad sized. Not too long now. The Navi will be another force in helping us with all this work. We'll just uh, harvest them onto the truck and take them and uh, clean them at home. Making the towels on that side. There's another one here. Side. There it is. Hopefully, with all this rain. Some of these hoodies can grow again and I'll try and come back and clear and clean this area up to give all those other weeds and see if uh, they can have a lease of life from the hoodies so we can have them. Yeah, so look at that taro. Hmm. Look at how small the hoodie that we planted in the beginning. But not a bad outcome. There it is. See that small holy? Got this tower from it. 
and if we didn't come here they would have just rot in the ground but like I said before this is one of the hard wearing species look at how it has pretty much died but it's still okay see it's still hard not popo yet even this little tip at the bottom so these ones are so they're about 11 months now to get to this stage See those taros? Good sized taros. And if we don't harvest them, they'll just all go to waste. But I guess hopefully it's good for the soil if they just stay in the soil. Giving back to the land. There's another dead one here. If worse comes to worse, we'll just uh, give them for the pigs. See, pretty amazing. You can see the whole tower is pretty much wilted. But look at this big tower top there, they replant it. The final outcome. Mm, could be better and this is what I told you in some of my past videos at the bottom of the taro tops before we plant them we normally sometimes carve our names or initials at the bottom here so when we have it like this time that we can see it I'll do it maybe I'll do it next time so you can see so at the bottom of the taro when you checked then you can tell oh yeah you have proof that your taro Especially if they remain still like this and hasn't rotted out yet. That's that taro for size reference. So I think this is just another lesson that you can uh, take away from. Even though your taros, especially certain varieties, they can die all the way like this in the ground. But if you dig them out, you can still have a decent taro there for you to eat but if you leave them much much longer then definitely they will rot in the ground well i guess this is it for today's episode just uh, a different take on the taro plantation taro life here on Newway island i guess sometimes some people will be embarrassed to show this type of taro that they have because it's all kind of like dead it's not growing but hey it's still food and it's all part of it and I just don't want to waste it and sometimes people just pull these type of taros out and just take them and uh, boil them up or just throw it like this to their pigs feed the pigs with it so that's it from me and Aka that's us for today's video so we're signing out to Hikau and Maka right here like from the Rock Niwe Island and guys, see you again on the next upload. If you haven't subscribed for all you good people out there, please subscribe to our channel, Life on the Rock New Island. Peace. On the way home now, this bush crew. Catch you later.